everybody, it's Sam at Mixed Up Craft. Thank you for watching my tutorial today. Um, I'm going to be showing you how to make this fun fold card and I'm calling it my arrow fold card. I was playing around with score lines and I'd actually done this one last week um, when I'd done the um, twisted gatefold card. So yeah, I was just in the in the mindset of doing lots of points and uh, things like that and I come up with this one and I absolutely love it and it stands up perfectly it's six by six so it sits perfectly into an envelope folds completely flat so it's easy to post and this is using um, supplies from my um, April hobby base kit so as always I'll share all the links um, to the supplies and if you want to find out more information about joining the club um, you've got until the 21st of uh, what are we now? So 21st of May to sign up for June's box. So May's box is already now going out to the current subscribers. So you've now got until the 21st for the June um, box. But yeah, so I'll just bring it up a bit close there. You can see I've just finished it off. This is from my own stash, but the sentiment, the embellishments, the paper, that's all from the kit, which is a taste of Morocco. So let's crack on and make it. This one is very easy to make. Um, I'm just going to pull in my supplies here. I'm going to do a slight change with this one because I actually cut this too short. I wasn't concentrating, so I need to mat it with, and I'm going to use this silver card, which is my own stash. But I'll talk through the measurements of that one um, as we go. So I'm using this pre-made 6x6 card um, base that was in the kit as well, and it's got, um, you can see that it's got embossed polka dots all over it. Um, that's the foils that we received, so it's the crafter's companion and it came with the two meter foils. So I'm getting lots of use out of this one. I've used the gold for this one here because I thought the gold worked really well with this kind of aqua green, but I'm going to be using silver today, which is um, again from my own stash, but I'll be showing you still the techniques um, and everything. So six by six card base is what you need. And we'll start off with that first of all. So grab a ruler and you just want to mark along the bottom, so this is going to fold, this is going to be a top folding card, okay, so you want it with this orientation, okay, along the bottom, you're just going to pop a little pencil mark at three um, inches, okay, so that's just the middle point, um, then we want to mark um, along the sides, so this is the top, okay, the top there, along this side here, we're going to mark a little marker at two, and a marker at four, and again on this side here, mark it two and line that one up. Two, a little bit off there, there we go, and four. Okay, then what you want to do is grab um, your stylus, open the card up, otherwise you'll crease through onto your back piece, which you don't want to do. And first of all, we're going to score from the very top here from this score line, the middle score line there that folds the card. Pop your stylus right on the corner and then you need to be making sure that you get really sharp points. Like I said in last week's um, tutorial, this is all about getting those really nice sharp points. And you want to join the ruler so it hits that middle pencil mark. Just come up a bit there. So that's the three inch pencil mark that we put in earlier. And you're just going to score my point there. Oop and join those up and then again on this side here top corner down to that pencil mark like so then go down to that two inch mark and join it to the same center point and then down to that four inch mark and again join it to that same center point and then go on to the other side and do that four one and again down to that two one or two and four. I mean they're the same, it's a six inch side, so they're all the same. Like so. So if I just bring that up, you should now have just pick up there we go, you can see we've got a score line from the top to the middle, then two inches down to the middle, then four inches down to the middle, and the same on this side here, the very top down to the middle then that one there down to the middle and then that one there down to the middle okay then what you want to do is starting with the longest one is carefully you want to fold that under now what I would say is don't go straight in with your with your bone folder and burnish it do it with your finger and your thumbs first just making sure that you get nice points okay once we've done all this we can rub out our pencil so again just going along that other side like so 
Then you're going to do like a concertina fold. So the next score line, we're going to come up. So we've just folded down. We're then going to come up on that next score line. And just with your ruler, kind of use it to keep that point really sharp at the end there. And just fold that over. Like so. Again on the other side, so that's where we folded it over originally, and then you're going to come back on itself. Again, just making sure that you're getting a really nice sharp point. Burnish it all better in a minute, and then this last one you're going to fold back. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember what I've done, then I thought we've gone the wrong way. Yeah, fold back. Okay. And that creates that arrow, 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 <laughs> like so. Again, make sure you're getting a really nice join there. Choose my nails, and now you can see that lovely arrow shape that we've got. So now I can grab my um, bone folder. And And just go along now and just burnish all of those score lines so they're really set in place. Like so. Okay. Now if you want to, you can stick this down so that's all flat. But when it's all up, it's quite nice for me to burnish this top one again. Now once you've done that, you'll find that it... Once you... Um, if you re-burnish it again then it stays perfectly but I quite like how you see there's more dimension when they're not stuck down you can see that shadow it creates inside I just think it looks a bit nicer but if you want to stick them all completely flat you can do okay so that is the card that's how easy this arrow fold is to do so now we need to decorate it so the main I've just used one sheet of six by six to decorate this and then when you open it up inside you can write your message on this white panel that I've done so if you just want to use the one piece of um, pattern paper then you, it needs to be five and five eighths of an inch by five and a half okay so that is what my silver piece is here now I'm going to mat on top of that and I'll tell you this measurement when we get to it if you want to do that way as well so along the so this would be the five and a half um, width will be going along the top here and you'll see it sits in perfectly giving you a nice border flip over this piece and along the five inch side doesn't matter which one so along the five and a half inch side sorry you want to mark at half um, halfway again so in this case it's going to be two and three quarters okay so I'm just marking there and then I'm going to draw a pencil mark from Again, just slightly out of shot there, sorry. So I've just marked two and three quarters here. And then I'm just going to do a pencil mark from corner down to there. It's a little bit off. Let's do that one again. That's better. And again on this one here. Okay. And then you want to cut it. Now cut it really neatly because you're going to use these, piece, these pieces as well. It all gets used. Nothing gets wasted. So I'm just going to cut up both of these. Okay, so that's all cut out, so now that piece will sit perfectly on top of this main triangle, giving you a nice even border. And then these pieces here are going to go inside, like so. Okay, so before we stick all that down, we'll cut this next piece. So this is then the piece that I'm going to mount on top. So obviously if you're using just one sheet of pattern paper, that's the effect it will be, which is lovely. But because I made a mistake, I'm now matting because this piece I'm, I cut too small. So originally it would have just been this straight on this card, like so. So just this against the white. But I think against this silver, it's actually going to look rather special. So this piece here is measuring up at five by um, five and three eighths. So along the five inch side, obviously if your pattern's directional, make sure you've got, I'm scoring along, I guess, the bottom bit here. So half of five is two and a half. So I'm just scoring at the two and a half mark. And then again, just join those up and you just want to cut it out exactly like I just did with that um, Miri card. Okay, so that's now all cut out. So now I'm going to go and stick all these pieces on top of the silver bits. So they will stick on top of those. 
again you'll have a nice border around both pieces and then this one is going to sit on top of this one here okay I'm using wet glue just so I've got the wiggle room to make sure they're all nicely even okay so now they are all stuck down and now I need to stick them on top of the card so that one is going to go like so I think it looks really really nice these are so striking so again just using my wet glue and just get them all stuck down onto the card okay and with the ones inside just gonna I've just put my glue on the back just bring it down to the corner giving yourself the same kind of border that you have on the front so when that comes over you see the effect that it's going to create it's really lovely so that's that one and then just repeat the same on that side okay so that's the inside and then you've got all that room there to write your sentiment if you want to mat another piece on top because in here this one because the color was obviously this aqua green i then cut this and it's the same size as the pattern paper so it would have been a piece of five and five eighths by five and a half and you just want to mark the center point again along the five and a half inch side draw the pencil and cut up and it will sit perfectly inside like so but because this is already white and it's a strong card I'm going to leave that because that's perfect for the sentiment but now that closes down and stands up like so I think it looks fantastic so now I'm going to show you a little bit of foiling so I have got some card here I don't need all of that so that's some of this away so this one here is going to be on your special day so it can be used then for anniversary cards birthday cards wedding day things like that it's kind of a bit more um universal i guess this one so you cut these from these sheets they're six by six sheets of all different designs you cut out the sentiment or the pattern whatever it is and you peel off the backing which you've got there keep it if you want because sometimes i put it on the top depends if i've got a delicate um more of a delicate paper this is quite a tough card, but I would also put that on top and then rub over it, but I'm not going to bother today. And then you just want to go over and just rub. You get a little um, uh, like lollipop stick in these, but I lost mine, as I mentioned last week. So I'm just using my um, bone folder here. And you just want to rub over it until you're happy that you've rubbed over every part. Because basically you're transferring the image onto your card. So it's like a sticky, a sticky film. Lift up the edge and there we go so now if i try and catch the light i don't think oh there we go can you just see it there there we go so that is transferred across so now i'm going to use my silver but obviously if you've got the kit you'll be using the gold and you want to then sit that over the top like so and you'll see it's stuck to the sticky bit underneath you can just about make it out there again with my bone folder this time just rub it so it's quite flat because you don't want to scratch and you don't want to leave marks on your card. But I can see now that coming across. And you can probably make it out. Can you see? It's completely transferred. So the actual, the silver is underneath the top piece here that is, um, you know, that I can see is just a clear film. Underneath is where you can see everything stuck like so. So that's still clear on the top. Now, if you feel like you've missed any bits, which I don't think I have, but you can go back over it. And it's not picking anything up, which means that it has taken that first amount perfectly. If I just bring that up, you can see now how lovely that is. And as I said, the difference, you can get this effect with embossing powders, but the difference is that embossing powders are raised and are like, um, you know, lumpy, I guess. Whereas the foils are completely flat. That's a completely flush, very smooth transfer okay so that's that one done then i'm going to run that one through i've just got a rectangle um one of my rectangle framelits here and i'm going to run that through my die cutting machine and then i've got a another piece where is my silver i've got another piece of silver and i'm going to die cut that in the next size up so i'm going to have a silver frame around my sentiment Okay, so they both, I'll just pop that to one side, I've just die cut both of those now. I'm just going to pop some foam squares on the back here. Pop that one so it is nice again and centred. So, to bring that up now, you can see what a lovely tag that is. So. Okay, so now I need to pop this one. So it's going to sit like so i'm going to bring it up a bit 
I want to bring it there. We'll bring it down so it's got a bit of, now I'm going to bring it down so it's got a little bit of border there. So again, I'm just going to use some of my wet glue here. And just make sure you get that in the middle. I can see I've got even, even along the top there and along the bottom. So that's that one. Then I've got some of these embellishments with it, which are the same as the gold. I've got them in the silver already. But the gold ones, as I mentioned, that came with the kit, obviously all match perfectly. And it was these ones here, got 120 of them, these faceted ones, which are lovely. So this one here, I'm going to pop, where do I want to put it? Top. Oh, I think I'm going to put it there, like so. And then this is optional, but I just wanted a few little flourishes. So I'm going to stick these and they all just sit underneath that white sentiment there because I've got that raised gap from when I use the, um, the foam little squares. So I'm just going to pop that one under and then lift that leaf up. So it's just kind of lifted on the top. Again, just little details like that, just kind of just help a bit so I'm just popping some glue over the top and the bottom pop this one in and again glue that one on the top and then the last one just trim a bit off the top there right up in the middle and there you have it I think that is absolutely stunning and <laughs> such a pretty guard so there you have it a really unusual arrow fold card that's what I'm calling it anyway so there's that one there's the one with the golds and the greens as I said they all fold flat fit in a six by six envelope and they stand up perfectly I think they look absolutely gorgeous so hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, again if you want to find out more about joining the hobby base um, club just follow the links below and um, like I said you can just find out a bit more if you if you want to as well um, otherwise please give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today and subscribe to my channel to see more thanks for watching bye